Santa, the same thing we do every Christmas, Link Letter. Unhand me and pass out the gifts. Okay, kids? Yeah, right. Here we go. Let's see who this one's going to be for. Bobby Daniels. Hey, that's me. Hey, boy, you got the first one. Thanks, Isn't that Linklater? swell? Now let's see who's next here. Having things there for Tina Marie. Let's see now, who is Tina Marie? Oh, of course it's you. I thought you were Fred. <laughs> now, let's see. You have a present here somewhere. I can't find it right now, but why don't you read this book by Hans Christian Andersen? It's called The Snow Queen. Thanks, Mr. Linkletter. Well, now let's see who's next. Dick Johnson. Are you here, Mr. Johnson? Here I am, Mr. Linkletter. And here you are, Mr. Johnson. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Well, there must be a steamroller in this one. Sharon Knight. Here I am, Mr. Linkletter. There you are. Thank you. Eh? Mr. Linkletter. What? I just remembered something. What? Can't read. You can't read. How careless of me. Would you read it to me? Well, in a little bit. I have some more presents to give away first. Here's one for Roscoe Fairchild. Uh, please. Are you sure? Oh, Thank you, Mr. Linkletter. There you are, Roscoe. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. While you're waiting, this will keep you busy. Try to get those links apart. Now, let me see. Um, took me all night to do it. Now. Here, first, how about opening this present? Thanks a lot, Mr. Linkletter. Sharon, I think she's going to live. Well, Bobby, how do you like your doctor's kit? It's okay. Thanks. Oh, you don't seem very enthusiastic. You told me you wanted to be a doctor when you grew up. That was last week. Now I'm collecting rocks. Oh, you want to be a geologist, huh? What are you going to do with the rocks when you collect them? I'm going to throw them at my sister. <laughs> well, then you'll need that kit. Okay. Well, uh, where's Marilyn Harris? Oh, there you are. Marilyn, if I gave you two wishes, what would you want more than anything else in the world? A baby brother. Oh, well, um, what about the second wish? Can I keep that wish till I see how he works out? <laughs> well, this isn't a baby brother, but I'm sure you like it just as much. Oh, it must be a puppy. You like it, honey? Well, just like Mom's. Oh, I have a present for you. A present for me? Well, isn't that wonderful? What is it? <laughs> it's a game. Put your finger in it. Uh huh. Now put your other finger in the other end. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now pull. <laughs> I'm caught. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how to get out when you read me the Snow Queen. Well, I guess I'll read the Snow Queen. Let me out. Put your wrist together like a good little boy. Well, thank you. Tita, <laughs> I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> All right, kids, go on in. All right, now we're ready for the story. And first, I want to tell you about the man who wrote the Snow Queen. He was born 150 years ago in a faraway land called Denmark. And his name was Hans Christian Andersen. Did he ever come to the United States? No, I don't believe he even spoke English. But his stories could be understood by children in every land. And they're not only for little children, but for the bigger ones that we call adults. Now, he was very famous, and the house where Hans Christian Andersen lived is now a museum. And the umbrella he carried, his boots and hat, all the things that he wore are in glass cases. Golly, I just throw my stuff on the floor. You better be careful, Bobby. Someday you may be famous, and your clothes had better be in good condition. Let's get on with the story. 
Well, Tina, I won't have to read it because a very, very beautiful moving picture has been made about the Snow Queen. I'll tell you what we'll do, all of you. Look, look right there. That's nothing but an old mirror. No, no, that's a magic mirror. Squint your eyes a little. Everybody, now look hard. Look real hard and repeat after me. One snowflake, two. One snowflake, two. Three snowflakes, four. And now you'll see the Snow Queen if you add a million more. Here comes the Snow Queen, as you see and why. Queen of the winter, her queendom is the kingdom of snow. She rules the mountains and the valley below. Her breath is the wind that freezes the lake. She ices your window like a frosty cake. Around and around and around she whirls. Around and around the boys and girls. Around and around in her sleigh she flies, chilling their hearts with ice in their eyes. Here comes the Snow Queen, her majesty in white. Queen of the winter, her kingdom is the kingdom of snow. She rules the mountains and the valley below, but the kids of spring will come one day and melt her heart. from cover to cover a thousand times. Yes, siree. <laughs> I've talked to cabbages, kings, toads, frogs, and stars. And I've heard some nifty stories, too. Excuse me? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm off. <laughs> Shake hands with my old buddy, the great storyteller Hans Christian Andersen. Ever wonder where he got the ideas for his stories? Not from Jenny the Chair, or Max the Clock, or Hugo the Desk. They're old stay-at-homes. His tales were about faraway lands and people who were enchanted. How could he think of such things? <laughs> who helped him? Twas little old me. Little dee dee, modest me. I am old dreamy, and I am the prince of dreams. <laughs> but frankly, I don't look like a prince, do I? I'm really a little magician, a special kind. Hippity hoo. Well, each night at midnight, I appear. After Mr. Anderson retires, I tippity tiptoe over to his bed. Then I take a deep breath. So, and I blow softly on his neck. His eyes close. I never miss. Then I open this, my magic slumberella, over his head, whirl it, twirl it, again and again, and like this. And I say the magic words, hippity, hoppity, hoot. And all night he dreams of enchanted lands, kings, and magic mountains. When he's worked too hard, I reverse my magic with oo hoppity hippity Twirl this slumberella, and he dreams nothing. One night, I outdid myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Absolutely. My magic worked like it has never worked before. I opened my dream slumberella and whirled it round and round. And in the great master's dreams, a village appeared. It was a quaint old village dotted with houses and narrow streets. Watch what you're doing. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Oh. I'm fumbly today. Oh. Poor Mr. Highbuttons. He must think it's raining. <laughs> Look, Kay, there's a swallow. Oh. Just look at him. See? Bringing his girl beautiful white flowers day after day. Kay? I have a flower for you, too. Okay, please. Can I be your girlfriend? And this one for you. Oh, thank you, Kay. Let's plant them in the flower pot. Great idea. Here, take it. They'll grow up side by side. Like us. And we'll always be friends. Like us, yes. And always be happy together. And always love each other. Like us, forever. Forever. Kay! Coming! Gerda! Yes, Grandma! Well, goodbye, Gerda. Goodbye for bye now. Bye-bye, Kay. Yes, siree. I call that a pretty beginning. All through the summer, they played in their garden of dreams. And then came the rains. Followed by ice and snow. On the long, cold winter nights, Kay would come to visit Gerda. Nothing could keep them apart. And when it's cold and frosty outside, it feels so good to be warm and cozy inside. Look, it's snowing again. How gently the snowflakes swarm about. I call them white snow bees. White snow bees? Do they have a queen like other bees? Where do they come from? Could you tell me? The snowflakes come from the very far north. And they fly, fly, fly over stormy seas, through icy winds, blizzards, and fog. They are loyal servants of the Snow Queen. In that palace, lives the Snow Queen herself. Oh, is she real pretty? You can scarcely imagine how beautiful she really is. Cold but beautiful. She is all ice. Glittering, dazzling ice. And yet she is alive. Her eyes shine like stars, but they have no warmth. There are many strange things in the frozen palace. There is a mirror of ice. And when the Snow Queen looks in it, she sees her whole kingdom. She sees endless.
endless fields of snow. Ice-bound seas. On many wintry nights, she flies through the city streets and peeps in at the windows. Oh, my gosh. Look! There she is! It's the Snow Queen! She's staring at us. There's no one. Don't be afraid. Oh, I'm sure. What do we do? I saw the Snow Queen peeping in. Well, let her come in. I'll put her on the hot stove and she'll melt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just wait and see. <laughs> Come clean puddles. Hot, hot puddles. Go, splitters of ice. Fly away. Fly throughout the entire universe. Into the wild noise of the wind. Fly into the eyes and hearts of those who have offended me. And to him who gets a grain of ice in his eyes, may everything look ugly. And let him who gets a splinter in his heart become evil and do evil in the world. Fly, splitters of ice. Fly away. What a snowstorm. Look at those big flakes whirling about. Hey, there's something moving towards us. flew into my eye and something struck my heart. Oh. oh, dreadful. Maybe I can help. Let me see. Go away from me, pest. I can take care of myself. I was only trying to help. Okay. Our flowers are pretty roses. They're crushed and dying. Goody! Throw them in the rubbish heap where they belong. Hey! 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 <laughs> Come back, Jay! Hey! Granny! Granny! <laughs> don't cry. Child, don't cry. Honey, don't. <laughs> My heart weeps. Excuse, excuse me. That evil Snow Queen, she has cast a spell over our boy. And now he's bad. He's very mean to dear Gerda because his heart is a lump of ice. How awful.
along? May I? Ah, uh, you'll fall down and cry. You used to give me rides, Kay, and well, I never fell. And if I do, I won't cry. You never fell? Mm -mm. And you won't cry? Mm -mm. Then get on. <laughs> See, Ken, I'm not crying. Really, I'm not. to put me on a hot stove and change me into a puddle. Hear me, boy. No living thing can resist me. Child, you're cold. Come closer. Have no fear. My heart is frozen. Hmm. No more kisses. Sometimes the kiss of winter may be too much for mortals. Fear not, boy. Trust me. The winds will carry us to a wintry wonderland. forget everything. Your heart will be turned into ice. You will know neither joy nor sorrow. Nothing but peace and cold. Passed, but Kay did not return. In vain, our little Gerda waited. And when the first robin chirped, little Gerda put on her best dress and bright red shoes, kissed her sleeping granny goodbye to start out and look for Kay. Gerda was a brave little girl. Swallows, swallows, I'm searching for Kay. Have you seen him? Not me, not me. Little lamb, did you see Kay? <laughs> I don't know for nothing. I was born yesterday. <laughs> 
River. River, will you listen, please? Please take me to Kay. I'll give you my red shoes if you'll carry me to Kay. Please, please don't refuse them. If I throw them out further, then will you take them? I'll never forget you. To gallivant on a river. I was searching for my playmate, Kay. He'll still be lost tomorrow. You must be so tired. Oh, oh how lovely. Such pretty flowers. Oh, may I ask them a question? Not now, dear. Dear? Your eyes are pleading for sleep. Come along. That's a good girl. Come along. Now, my little flower. No. No, I, I must look for Kay. Lie down. Sleep, dear. And forget everything. May every day seem like an hour. And every hour like a minute of sleep. Dreams are calling. woman was a sorceress. Not wicked, but a dear, lonely sorceress. And she only did sorcery for her own good amusement. She made the little girl forget all things, even the undying love she had for Kay. So help me.
to him. My K won't take a fancy to her. He will. This won't let your boy out of her sight. The palsy walsy. Haw. Oh. Haw. Oh. Get it? Mr. Carrax, please, please take me to him. Since you don't fly, my dear, we'll trot over to the palace. Tell me, has he golden hair? And bright blue eyes. Yes, yes. Let's run. Wait, wait. My feet are killing me. Welcome to the palace. Oh, how beautiful. Henrietta, my dear. This is my lady friend. How do you do? She knows everything around here. She is the princess's playmate. Ah, ah. Glad you got here when you did. Tonight we're having a ball. Me too? Ah, ah, ah. They won't let you in the palace. Why not? You're barefoot. That's why. Is that bad? Oh, dear, what'll I do? Come on, Henrietta. Sneaker in. Look, Charles, don't rush. <coughs> when everyone's asleep, I'll slip her through the back entrance. Well, thank you.
take this. It may come in handy. Thank you. Got your tongue? Oh, please forgive me and my friends. Oh, oh how exciting! I thought you were my playmate, Kay. Yeah. I've been looking everywhere for him. Well, oh, isn't this romantic? I just tingle. Guard, don't stand there like fools. Guard, release them all. Please don't cry. 
I can't stand female tears. Dear. Please. That's yeah. true love. Yeah, Tell us more. Well, there you are. Kay wasn't in the palace. So then, where was he? Wait now. Let's look elsewhere. It's a small world. Turn. Turn. Well, what's this? The icy roof of the world. The land of the Snow Queen. Flowers. Much nicer. Much. Oh, chunks of ice. Like diamonds. How they shine and glitter. They are your flowers. Yours. No. They're not. They don't smell like flowers. Kay, I've told you time and time again. Now remember. Flowers, beauty, joy, and love are all illusions. They do not exist at all. Forget them. I must forget them. Forget flowers, beauty, love, joy. Forget, forget. Do you know what joy is? Kay? No, I don't. And beauty? I'm not sure. Tell me, Kay. What is love? What love is? No. But I do remember. Gerda! Gerda? Yes. You remember Gerda? Yes. <laughs> Your heart is cold. Ice. There is no room for love. None. Well, Gerda, we give you this golden chariot to help you find Kay. And this muff? to keep you warm. <laughs>
16 karat gold coat. Get him in. <laughs> Disappeared. 
not K away from me forever and forever. Mm -mm. No. No, my dear. No. They won't kill you. If anybody's going to kill you, it will be me.
poor thing. The Snow Queen stopped here, too. But that was a spell back. She went on northward. To Finland. And Kay was with her? Yeah. Poor lad. He was froze solid. Oh, dear. Poor Kay. Bucky, Bucky, I must go to Finland. Take me there, please. Wait, my cousin can help you. She lives in Finland. I'll write her. Mm, that's me. Always running out of writing paper. Here, give this codfish to my old Finn cousin. She'll help you. Thank you. Goodbye. Ma, thank you.
so hot. How painful here. plea. Silently, gentle spring kissed the queen of winter and melted her heart of ice away. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's gone. another story.